and we're back to learning game and this time I'm going to show an easy 3D pop effect. So in the scene this on Instagram for example, I've got this original and a white background. Then I use the rectangle tool to create the frame. Maybe this is a good position. I go to select and border. I'll pick 20 pixels and smooth for my canvas size, that's good. I have a black foreground color and I use the bucket fill tool, but I put it on a new layer. We call that frame and it's important that it's transparent. And now left click. You could also use a white frame if you want. But it doesn't matter at this point because we can adjust it later on. We go to select none. Now use the perspective tool, left click on the frame and you can adjust it a little bit. Let me use this, should be fine for our tutorial. I click on transform to confirm and now right click on this layer and add a layer mask. It's fully white for now and I'm on the layer mask. So not the layer, you need to be on the mask. Use the paintbrush, increase the hardness to 100. And I've got a black, which is going to conceal. Well, let me go down a little bit. And now I want to get rid of this part where you can see the legs. When you go too far, just flip it to a white foreground color and then you can bring back colors of this frame. Now add a layer mask to your image. I've called it original here. Once again, we paint on the mask, not on the layer. Let me increase the size and this time I'll make it black. But you need to have a calm hand so that you don't exceed your frame. Let me go down with the size and I zoom in and I take care of the details.
And again, when you paint too much of it, just flip the colors to white and then bring back some of them. So this is what we've got now. So we're almost done. And by using the layer mask, we can still edit it all. So if you want to, for example, make the background black, we can do that. Or we can use a black frame. When you use a black frame on a white background, you can also add a drop shadow, which looks nice. So just add it to your frame layer. And this is how you can create this simple 3D pop effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.